Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie Vio, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So a few months ago, I released a tutorial on how to become a seller on Fiverr step-by-step. -step. I teach you how to create a profile, how to set up your first gig, and give you general information on what Fiverr is and how to use it. Now, a common issue for a lot of people is they don't know what to do once they create an account. They don't have any ideas for gigs that they can sell, or they don't really know a skill set that they have yet to sell on Fiverr. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about six different Fiverr gig ideas that you can get started on today that require very low skill or no skill at all. And for those that do require some sort of skill, I'm going to teach you that skill in this video, which is why this video is going to be so long. We'll go through what the idea is, then I'll show you examples of these services that are already on Fiverr and sellers that are having success. And then I'm going to show you all the tools that you need and everything is free. I have found free apps, free software, everything is free to get started. All you need is a smartphone or a camera, and in some cases, a laptop or a PC. But if you just have a phone, there are some gig ideas that you can also do using some apps that I will show you later on. There are a lot of different YouTube videos and people saying that you need no skill whatsoever to sell on Fiverr. It's easy, there's no work involved. Well, you do need to learn some sort of skill. Even if it's an easy skill to learn, it does take practice to get good at something. And if you really want to make money online, you do need to learn new skills, perfect them and become better and better at them. And the better you become, the more you'll be able to charge. So I want to give you a head start by teaching you six different skills today. Well, five different skills and one idea, and you can get started creating gigs right away. I really believe that freelancing is the best way to make money online. Sure, you can do micro jobs, paid surveys, transcription, but you're not going to get paid a lot of money and it is very time consuming and exhausting. Whereas if you become a freelancer and you learn a few different skills that you can sell, eventually you build up a client base and those clients keep coming back for more work. And that way you have a steady stream of income and it becomes really easy for you the better you are at a skill. So the very first Fiverr gig idea I have is to become a spokesperson. Basically all you need is a smartphone or a camera and you will hire your services that you will create a video of yourself promoting a product or a brand. You don't need a green screen or any professional equipment to get started. There are so many different examples on Fiverr of people who are normal looking people who don't have professional equipment. They even have very thick accents when they're speaking in English. And it doesn't matter. There's a lot of companies that are looking for normal people from all over the world, from diverse backgrounds, and they're willing to pay $5 for you to promote their product or their brand. Okay, so now I wanna hop on here on fiverr.com. And if you click on video and animation, you can click on spokesperson videos, and this will just give you some ideas of the kinds of videos that people are publishing and an idea of what they're offering and how much money they're charging. So you can see there's a lot of, you know, really top rated sellers who have had tons of gigs. This person over a thousand, this person 208. But these are people who are charging a lot more money. This girl is charging 85 euro. This one's charging 38 euro. These people are charging 300 euro. You don't need to be completely professional to do this. A lot of people don't want to hire people who are top rated sellers because if this is a company and a thousand people have hired this woman to be their spokesperson, that means that, you know, they're going to start having repeats and you're going to start recognizing there's one girl on here and I see her all the time in different ads popping up on Facebook and you know, she's just a paid spokesperson. So sometimes people want someone who's a little bit more authentic and a bit more natural looking. Okay. And so maybe they'll go for someone who doesn't look like they're completely professional, someone who looks like they're just a normal person who believes in a product. I wanted to show you some examples here. We can see here this woman and she has a very basic looking video. The audio quality is not that great. It's just sounds like she's just using the microphone on her phone. There's a lot of static, but this woman is doing okay. She has a rating of 4.8. She has one order that she's working on right now. She is charging $10 and what she'll do is one 50 word up to 15 seconds basic video quality ad and that's it. And then you can plug in how many words it is to up the price. So actually for 50 words, it's 1285, 100 words, 1714. And this woman, it's clear she's just doing this on her mobile phone. 
We've got another woman here. She also has, looks like she also offers a green screen, but again, the quality is not amazing. It just looks like a normal camera or a phone, okay? She has an order that she's working on right now as well, and she's had nine reviews. This person as well, uh, I'll make a video in front of a historic wall. She has all sorts of different um, pretty basic looking videos, but she has it in front of a cool place where she's from uh, in China. This guy, he's a bit more professional. He's got a green screen, so he's able to charge more. You can see that he has 2,107 reviews. He's a level two seller, and he's charging over $40 for a simple video of up to 30 words. Um, and then you can click on his other gigs and they get more and more expensive all the way up to this premium one, which is 158 euro. So when you're starting off, you don't have to have a green screen and things like that. You could literally be like this woman here. She's just doing it, you know, in front of a pretty blank wall. And here it looks like it's in front of a closet. The lighting's not even great and she's getting gigs. So I would definitely recommend you check out the spokesperson videos list and go down and don't be afraid of the fact that maybe you don't speak perfect English or that you have a thick accent because a lot of these people do have accents and people are just wanting someone who's a little different. There's a great need right now for people of diverse backgrounds everywhere to make you know a company look like they are inclusive. And this is a pretty quick way that you can make money just by doing a 30 second ad uh, filming yourself and if you don't have any video editing skills, don't worry. You can just memorize the script or have the script beside your camera, do it in one take, and then send it to the client that you're working with. And then if you get more and more gigs, you can start investing in things like a green screen to even make more money. I actually just bought a green screen that I haven't tried out yet, and it cost me like 20 euro on Amazon, but there's cheaper ones. Uh, or you could just find a bright green sheet, bed sheet, and use that as well. The second Fiverr gig idea that I have is removing background noise from a video or an audio file. So for example, if I'm recording right now and imagine there was a fan right beside me and it was generating a bzzz or a hum sound throughout the entire video, a lot of people will just put that video on YouTube and they won't actually take out that static or that hum or buzzing sound. And it's actually really simple to do. And basically you can offer your services to clean up people's audio and remove all that static and background noise so they have a nice clean file. Okay, the next skill I want to show you that you can learn really quickly, you can learn it in 10 minutes in my video. And I'm actually gonna show you really quickly a demo now, but all you have to do is type in remove background noise and you can see all of these different uh, gigs and you can see that they're quite successful. This guy might be, he's a top rated seller so he probably has a lot of experience but he's charging 40 euro. There's other people that say that they're going to remove echo, remove wind, clean up the audio for four, starting at four euro. So let's look at this guy for example, click on his gig. He has 171 orders that he's done, five stars basic editing up to five minutes for five dollars and basically the majority of these people are using some sort of audio software or program to remove the background noise and it's actually really easy to do so i'm going to show you right now a lot of people maybe know how to do this with audio but they don't realize that you can also do it with video in a free audio editor like audacity so I'm going to open up Audacity right now, and I'm going to show you how you can import um, audio or video to clean up. Let's click File, then click Open, and then just click on the file. And even though it's an MP4 file, when you click on it and you click Open, it will import the audio from that file. And as you can see, there it is. Okay, and so after we clean this up, you just have to use any video editor and just combine the two files together, which is really easy. If you need help on that, you want me to create a tutorial, just ask me and I can create one for the channel. So what we're gonna do is zoom up using this icon here on the file. Again, I have a full tutorial on how to download this program, which is free, and how to do everything step by step, but I just want to quickly show you. So let's go to this start and let's play it so you can see how it sounds. Hello hey guys. Well behind me is a wall that has like a several and you can hear there's a lot of really bad background noise. So what we're gonna do is click on this icon here and select a sample of the static. So this is all static here. Let's listen to it. 
That's all just street noise, background noise. We want to erase this throughout the entire file. We're going to click Effect, Noise Reduction, Get Noise Profile, which will tell Audacity that we want to remove everything that sounds like this. Now we're going to click Control plus A to select the entire file, then go Effect again, Noise Reduction, and just click OK. And now Audacity will go through the entire file and you can see it's just cleaned this up completely. So if we press play again, you can hear something and you can do even do this a little bit again. Effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, select all, and just do it again. And you can see it's even cleaned that up even more. The last thing we can do, control A, effect, Amplify. We want to amplify this audio to minus 3 dB, so we'll amplify it by 2 dB and make it easier to understand. Now let's try. And even though it's not perfect, it's a lot better than what it was. So this is just an example of how you could sell this skill. Um, and then the more gigs you bet you get, the more you can learn about audio editing. But really, that's as pretty much as basic as it gets for removing background noise. Okay, the third idea that I have is removing unwanted objects from photos. So for example, imagine you went to a beach and there was a person right in your view and you wanted to get a beautiful shot of the ocean. With this free app that I'm going to teach you how to use, you can remove a person or any object from a photo. So you can help people fix up their wedding photos, their travel photos, maybe they want to remove an ex-boyfriend from all of their photos, who knows? But it's a really easy tool and I'm gonna teach you how to do that now. Okay, so now we're back on Fiverr and I've just typed in remove unwanted objects and you can see all the different services that are available. So we're gonna click, look at some examples. We've got this guy, he's a level, level two sellers, 17 different reviews, um, he's removed all of this here from the photo. This photo might take a bit more, you might have to make use of the clone stamp tool to replicate um, these bars. So it might be a little bit more complicated, but he's also charging uh, a little bit more. He's $10 for one image. This one right here, this would be quite easy to remove this woman here and blend that in. You could do this using the method that I just showed you actually. Um, and this one, he's actually charging a bit less, 10 photos with unlimited revisions for 428. And this guy here is, you know, this is super simple. This one here, you could definitely do this with the method I just showed you. And he is, for one picture, charging $5. And he is actually quite successful. He has 23 different reviews here with a five-star rating. Okay, so this is definitely something I recommend uh, you try out and you learn this skill. It shouldn't take you too long to learn how to do it. And again, if you're interested in a more in-depth tutorial on how to do more fine tuning and images that are a bit more complicated with clone stamping, let me know and that's something I can uh, consider publishing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to remove unwanted objects from a photo. So as you can see here, I have this photo that I took in Scotland and there are two different signs on the lawn that I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna teach you how to turn the image from this into this right here, where we've easily removed the signs and uh, yeah, it's, it's it was super simple to do. So what you're gonna do is download Adobe Photoshop Fix. It's an app, so you're gonna install this app on Google Play, double click on it and once you open the app, there might be an ad that you have to close off. Just click on the X in the corner. And now it has two different pictures that are already there if you wanted a sample of how to retouch photos. But we're gonna click on the plus icon at the bottom corner. And then here you have to locate the photo that you want to edit. So the very top button I'm going to click because I've already transferred the photo I want to edit onto my phone. So that button right there will access my phone library. So once you locate your photo, click with your fingers to expand the screen to zoom up. Once you zoom up on the object that you want to remove, you're going to click on healing with a little band-aid. Then you're going to click on spot heal. On the side, you can adjust the size and the hardness of the brush. And to do that, you just click on whatever you want to adjust, either size or hardness. And then again, scroll up or down on the screen with your finger to increase the size of the brush. 
And then the hardness level will just make it not as harsh, so you can reduce that as well. So it's a more soft uh, removal of the object. And then all you're going to do is brush over it. And you're just going to brush over it with, you'll see the red will indicate the part you want to remove. And boom, you can see how quickly and easily it just removed the object that we didn't want. So you're going to go ahead, click the check mark. Then we can scroll over to the other sign, repeat the same process. And you can see it's blended it all in. So what it does is it takes samples from what's around the object and fills it in to act like the object's not there. So this is great if you want to remove people from a photo, objects, anything you know that's making the photo not look as nice as it could look without those objects. So now we scroll back and boom, you have a perfectly edited photo. There's also other tools here that you can use like clone stamp and things like that in case you had a more complicated image that you needed to make some special fine tuning. If you are interested in a tutorial on how to do this for more advanced photos, let me know in the comment section because I do plan on doing a sellable skills series. And if that is something that interests you a little bit more detail on how to edit photos, let me know. I want to see if there's interest for that. So then to save this photo, you go ahead, click on the share button at the top and click gallery, and that will save your image to your gallery. And as you can see here, now we've just transformed this photo here with these two signs that are kind of ugly into this photo here. And it's a much more beautiful shot and you cannot tell that we edited those photos at all. So this is another skill that you can sell to people on Fiverr. Say you'll edit five different photos for a certain price or one photo for a certain price. And, and this is definitely um, something that what people are interested in buying. Okay, the next gig idea I have is very similar to the one we just did, except this one is how to remove backgrounds. So for example, imagine I took a picture of myself right now and I wanted to remove the entire background except for my silhouette or my shape. There's a free website that we can use and it's a really automatic process where you just click to remove the entire background and then you can do all sorts of other features as well. And this website is completely free for standard resolution files. You might wonder, well, why don't these clients go and do that themselves if it's free? Well, if you decide to charge $5 to remove 10 different backgrounds, for example, it's worth it for them to pay someone $10 to do a job they don't want to do. Because when people have money, they just value their time. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, the next gig idea I want to tell you about is removing the background. Now, this is a very popular gig. There are a lot of different services available, but also a lot of buyers because people always want backgrounds removed from different product photos, from their own professional photos to do YouTube thumbnails. It's a really quick and easy process. So usually with these different sellers, you can see all of these different ones here. They will offer a bulk set of photo editing for a certain price. So if we look here, this guy's offering 15 image background removal, JPEG or PNG, and you would normally want a PNG file because that means, for example, if we cut this woman out here and we save it as a PNG, that means it's like transparent, the rest of it. So you can stick that on any background that you want. A JPEG would just save it blank. It wouldn't be transparent when you put it on another's photo. So you wanna save it as a PNG file. You can look over here up to 10 image background, uh, remove plus crops resize. So that's $5 for that. This guy, $5 for 10 images. And all of this is super easy to do, okay? And you can see like this guy even has two orders on the go. This is a really popular service. I like that this guy offers that he will change or remove image background because you can also offer that. If you want to offer something a little different from the other sellers, you can say, listen, I will cut out these for you and I will add whatever background you want or I'll choose my own background. You can say that you'll crop it so it's ready for to go on YouTube or whatever you want. So let's learn how to do that. You can do that for free with this website here, remove.bg. You can also cut out backgrounds with things like Photoshop or a whole bunch of other different photo editing software. But if you don't have that, this is the easiest way to do it and it is free. Eventually, if you build up more clients and you start to get a lot of work, you might want to get a professional editor and that way you can do more things, but this is an excellent website. So I'm gonna do a demo. All you have to do is click upload image and then select the image you want to remove the background from. You can see you've got the original image and it'll take a bit and look, it just removed it perfectly. It did such a, an amazing job of that. So now what you're gonna do is click edit 
And if it didn't get it like perfectly like it did, you could click erase, restore, and then you could brush, you know, like, look, I could brush away whatever I needed to brush away. And then you click undo if you don't want to do that. Let's go back to background. I want to show you a few other things. Here, maybe someone wants to just blur it so it, the actual background and have her stand out. And so you can do that, which is really cool. Or you can click here and just choose whatever background you want from their little library here and then apply that same effect. And it makes it look so professional. And you can even choose your own photo. So let's just throw in the photo we just did the last time. And then you could do something cool like this and blur that as well. You can also click on color and choose any of these different colors. You could click on that icon and then choose whatever color. So let's say you have a certain brand color that you're, you want to use. You can type in your exact brand color here. It really is amazing. So what I would recommend you do if you're offering a gig like this is just say, listen, I will remove the background. I will put in, you know, whatever photo you want and then offer these sorts of ideas for them. And that way you could do it all for them for a bulk set. Say you do 10 photos for a certain price. And that way you're offering something a bit more than the other people um, on Fiverr. And if you go ahead and use something like PicMonkey, you can crop it to size as well. In the next gig idea, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail for YouTube. And this would be an excellent option for that. So then if you wanted to download the photo like this, just click download, download image, and then you have the photo right here downloaded. If you want to download it just the transparent because you're cutting out the background completely, you'll just click on this right here with the checked because that is the transparent, that's nothing here. And we're going to click download, download image. And then we have a PNG right here of the image. So when you do this and you download it, you can download uh, the file size for free, the good quality file size, which is 577 by 433. But in order to download HD, you do have to pay credits. So if I go to pricing here, you can either do a subscription plan or pay as you go. So for this one, 40 credits per month is nine euro. So if you were selling five images and, and said that they were going to be high quality, and you charged $5, you know, you would be making money because you would be able to use up to 40. But of course, I don't recommend getting a subscription plan unless you have ongoing clients. You can also do pay as you go. And then depending on how many credits you buy, but obviously, you know, don't start buying one of these big packages unless you already have clients. But you could just use the standard because most of most people are wanting these for their YouTube videos. And for YouTube thumbnails, it's a very small standard resolution. So you should be fine just using um, the standard version and you can offer that just standard resolution in your gig as well. So in this next gig idea, we can also use the skill we just learned. And this one is very popular on Fiverr. There is so much demand for it and there are a lot of services as well that are very successful. And this job is creating thumbnails or images for YouTube videos. And what's good about this is if you get in with a client and say you get a client that wants five different thumbnails from you and they pay you a good price to do all five and they're happy with them, they'll keep coming back to you for more images because they'll get used to your style, they'll, you'll get to know their brand, and it's a win-win for both people. So you can use a free tool to design beautiful different thumbnails and I'm going to teach you how to do that live right now. Okay, so I've just typed in YouTube thumbnail and I want to show you all of the different gigs and gig ideas for creating thumbnails for YouTube. You can see that there are almost 7,000 services available, but you can see that almost all of these have over a thousand different reviews. This is a very popular service because there are so many different YouTubers and it takes time to create a really beautiful, catchy thumbnail. And a lot of YouTubers just don't have time to do it themselves. So if they like you, they'll probably continue wanting you to create thumbnails for them. So really all you need to do is be able to get a couple clients. And if they're happy with your work, then you will probably develop a style for them or use their brand colors. And then they'll just constantly hire you for all of their thumbnails. It'll be easier for them and it'll be ongoing money for you. And all of these you can easily create yourself. Let's look at this one here. This guy, you can see, he has 16 orders he's working on right now. But you can see this guy, all of these different thumbnails and all of these, like look at this one. This is such a simple thumbnail to create. It's just a 
nice background image, which you can get lots of lots of stock photos for free from different websites. And then just how to keto diet. This one as well. This is a very typical thumbnail that a lot of make money channels use. And it's very simple to create if someone wanted that. So he's charging $10 and he creates one thumbnail for $10. This guy has 40 and he does three for $5. So people who eventually get more clients and have a lot of reviews and become really popular sellers, they can charge higher prices for less work. But if you're starting out off, I recommend, um, you know, charging $5 and saying you'll do three or something like this guy just to start getting, you know, more reviews. And all of these we can create with a free software called Canva, which I'm going to show you how to use now. Okay, so here we are in Canva and this is completely free. I do not have the pro plan. It's something I might consider getting because it looks quite cool. I have just the free plan, which you can get. I'll link you in the description below. And all you're gonna do is type in YouTube thumbnail, and that will give you all of these different templates that you can use to create your own thumbnails. You can choose any of these to start off and then just make adjustments to make it look like your own, which is really easy. Or you can completely create your own by clicking on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna click on this one here and make some edits to make this our own, okay? So as you can see here, we have this nice picture of this girl. If you want to use your own picture, you, you can go to uploads and then add in your own picture there. Or you can click on photos and here you can search for millions of photos. So let's click fashion. And you can see here that all of these you can either use that you can use if you have Canva Pro, but there's many that are free as well. So you can, if they have the little crown, it's pro. And if not, it's free. So when you want to use an image, you can just click on it and it will pop up. And then from here, you can make some adjustments by just clicking and dragging. So let's say I wanna put that maybe like this and I wanna send this to the back. So I'm gonna right click, go send to back. Okay, so then it can readjust it to how I, how I want it. Let's say now I wanna change the colors a bit. So I'm gonna click on this and this blue icon and then click on the color icon and then you can select any color that you want. Okay, now let's say I wanna add my own picture. I'm gonna to go to Uploads and click Upload Media to upload your own. I've already uploaded the picture that we just cut out earlier of the girl. And then you can click on this text and you can change it however you want or we can delete it and add our own text, which I'm gonna do. You can also click and make change any filters that you want. So let's say I click on this image here. And then I'm gonna to go to filter or effects. And I'm gonna click on, you've got all these cool different effects you can use. And filter, you can add any of these cool filters that you wanted as well to that image. I'm gonna click on effects. I'm gonna click on violet. Give it like a purple kind of a look. Click apply. Now let's go to text and you can either add your own text and then just change the font or you can go down here and look at any of the cool ones that they have for us to use. Okay, so once you have the text you wanna use, you can change the color of it. So I wanna change this and this is really cool. You click here and you can change it according to, they even pop up the photo colors, the document colors, so you don't even, you can just um, use these colors so it matches all together, which is really cool. And here you can change any of the effects. You can add, you could make it like neon, curve, glitch. Okay, so you can have fun playing around with that. And then finally, we can click on elements. And then here you can add any sort of icons that you want. You can add lines, shapes, stickers. You can even add animated ones um, and make this into a GIF. And again, you can look and see which ones are free to use and which ones are paid. So you just click on it to add the little icon that you wanna use and you can move that around where you want and you can even change the color by clicking on this icon here and then just changing it to whatever color you want. Okay, and once you're finished with your thumbnail and you're happy with it, just click on download and then you're gonna make sure to save it as PNG, which is a high quality image and it'll say suggested, so click on that and then it will be automatically the size that is recommended for YouTube. 
So you're going to go ahead, download it as a PNG file. And then just like that, we have downloaded and created a really beautiful thumbnail that we could sell to our clients and also use on your portfolio. And then you can have fun trying to design your own thumbnail art. And then if you can design these pieces, you could put on your own little logo for your gig and say like, this is some work that I've created. That's the beautiful thing about Canva is you can do all of this for free, um, create your own style and then start publishing your gigs and start hopefully getting some clients who like the style of your work. So feel free to start experimenting and playing around and create a bunch of thumbnails that look cool and then just add them to to your portfolio on Fiverr. Okay, and this last idea is not exactly a skill that I'm gonna teach you, but I'm going to ask you to get creative and think of something that you can offer or that you can show that's different from other people. There are all sorts of people on YouTube right now that have these crazy ideas doing crazy things and they're making good money selling these services. So sending funny messages, this one guy I'm gonna show you, he's in an inflatable boat. Another guy has a vegetable man costume. Another person is writing messages in creating videos of them on the beach. There's all sorts of different ideas that you can have. And if you live in a place that's different from other people, maybe you live on a farm or you live in the mountains or you live somewhere different or near a popular tourist destination, you can make custom unique videos for people because they're not in that place and it's impossible for them to do. Maybe you live near the Eiffel Tower in Paris and you'll go up and take a video saying, you know, I love you or happy birthday mom or something like that and it's a custom video that they couldn't do themselves but you could do for them and they'll pay you five dollars or ten dollars or whatever it is you charge so let's go and look in Fiverr for some ideas okay so now I want to show you some of these really fun creative crazy gigs that people are offering and actually having a lot of success with so look at this guy here he is a level two seller and he has over 333 reviews and he says, I will deliver an exclusive message as Boatman. And basically he offers for $10 up to 50 words and he hangs out in his inflatable boat in his house, takes a video probably on his smartphone and that's it. And he's getting paid $10 and he's funny and people like his little, you know, look at all his little videos he's done. I guess they think it's funny. I mean, maybe someone wants to say happy birthday to someone or something like that, and they think it'd be a funny message to get a guy to do. Like, I know this is a crazy idea, but it's working for this guy. Let's look here. This guy, I will wish happy birthday and say anything with buffaloes. So I guess he has maybe a farm, I don't know, or is near a bunch of buffaloes. So he goes there and he takes these crazy videos saying hey to everybody um, while he's with his buffaloes. And he also has 84 reviews. This other guy, again, he says he will deliver an exclusive message with his vegetable man costume. Again, 371. So it's really all about your creativity, what you're comfortable with doing. And if you have a funny idea, or maybe you know somewhere that you could go and do something unique that people would think is interesting, try it out. Why not? This person's a bit more um, creative. I will write your message creatively on a beach as a video or photo. And literally this person will write out different messages. Look here. It's a really beautiful message and they put that just on the beach and they'll say happy birthday or whatever else you want. And it's really cool. And this person's doing it for $5, one name with a heart M and they've got 35 different people have given them reviews. So all of these really creative, fun ones I'm finding in the lifestyle section. So I recommend you just go to the lifestyle section and just, I don't know, browse your message on, see what kinds of things you can find. There's a lot of models too, but again, you don't have to be a model. This guy's literally dressed up as a vegetable man and he's actually more successful than all of these models. So if you have something interesting or something funny, maybe you want to dress up like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus or Michael Jackson or anybody and offer a funny message for $5, people will pay that sort of thing to do a funny message for their friends or family. So it's really all about what you're comfortable with doing. And I recommend you try it out, be creative, do some research and find something that is unique and is easy for you to do. Okay, everybody. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something and that you found this tutorial useful. If you want any extra help on how to use these different skills that I've just taught you, let me know in the comments section what skills you want to learn more about. If you want to learn how to become a better audio editor or video editor or photo editor and what sort of skills um, you would like to learn so that you can sell these skills on websites like Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer.com. 
If you liked this video, please click like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And you can feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook as well. I'll leave the links to those social profiles in the description below. And on those pages, I'll update you with new information, new job updates, and when I have released a new video. So thank you once again for watching this video and I will see you in my next tutorial.